The uh, mega slime generation in the Midwest was timed perfectly uh, day by day so that it would be uh, slimy and overcast for the whole week but then they gave us Friday and Saturday uh, at least Friday afternoon and all of Saturday Sunday it, it was back and we had rain and now Monday what do we have mighty cumulus clouds and what's over it yes my friends what is always above all Grace, there's a shred of a, a persistent contrail, a chemtrail, it's showing again the altitude of this stuff. There's a jet cruise altitude. This is Jet Cirrus. Chem cloud, whatever you want to call it. Ugh. It's really gross out too. It's super oppressive. Okay, this is just so disgusting and, 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 and horrible. I think it should be time lapsed. That is an unbelievable amount of, of of chem slime, chem goo, pure to pure. No ifs, ands, or buts about what that is. Okay, great. It didn't take that long. We saw it turn to a total gray cloth. Now I'm going to look at another part. Look at another part of the sky for you. There's your spectrum. Some call it a Kembo, but it's just a it's a straight spectrum effect. But it's caused by uh, uniform micro droplets, uniform, which again shows it's their stuff. Jet cirrus, chem slime, white slime. It's actually not ice crystals at all, which is what cirrus is supposed to be. Notice the chem trail right in that. But, it, but what it forms is uniform micro water droplets, which allows that to happen. It's more of this sickening material plus the lower altitude clouds. Of course they would never do, and they would only be doing this sort of thing and making their own cloud cover when pigs fly. So it can't be happening now. Okay, that, that's another conclusion of, the, of, the, of it. Uh, you can see as sun sets, it gets harder to see it overhead. If you look up, unless you know it was there, you, it's like nothing's going on at all, even though it's completely covered. You know, so we'll just sign this part off. And uh, you can see the pig, pigs fly, so it is happening. All right, it's the 1st of July. And... Uh, you know, on this cheerful note, we got this is it. That's it. Lower altitude clouds, and then above it, you know, the slime. You can tell by the sun coming through. 360 degrees, so that's Sunday, Monday, today's Tuesday. So far, three straight days of overcast. This is coming up from the southwest. A little while later, yes, mizzle, my friends. Sweet, sweet mizzle. From all of this. Right. Uniform, almost seamless, featureless horizon to horizon. Look out here, we see again the strangely flattened clouds. Okay, it's the second. We're overcast constantly. I have a little bit of break now with some sun coming coming in through the broken weirdo clouds and revealing what? Jet cirrus. And everybody's favorite, a massive chemtrail. 
or persistent chondrial if you prefer. Of course, it's very useful because what does that stuff say? That's all. <laughs> that's jet cirrus. That's chem slime. That's white slime, chem cloud. It's beautiful and spreading, perpetual. Wow, it's just about to stop filming. I looked over there, there's like a bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See it? One. I think there's a, for sure there's, there's more right there. See them all? Frozen. Another thing my camera's not recording is the unbelievable humidity level. I mean, Washington is renowned for humidity and British uh, uh, diplomats and uh, uh, embassy personnel get paid tropical wages in the summer. It's, it's that, you know, hot and gross. This is twice as bad as it gets at its worst. Now that's all mega slime. That's serious business. That's the stuff. Vast sheets of it. It's cirrus, right? <laughs> but it's not like any kind of cirrus that ever existed on this planet until very, very recently. Another very good example. See, see it right there? What do you call it? That's cirrus. All right? It's all the same. That's what all that stuff is. This stuff's a little bit lower, it seems to me. But not much. River, a river of cirrus there. That's totally the stuff. And over here is an excellent example of a, of a bit of a huge blotch of it. A splotch, spludge of, of white slime. Cirrus slimulus, a cloud type that never existed until about a year ago. <laughs> now it's here all the time. Fuzzy stuff with, with thin, thinner, thin elements, like you'd see after a couple hundred chemtrails before, and they finally join. They'd be up there real gauzy, pretty thick, but definitely patches. Uh, and, and nonetheless, that's what's over us, and that's what it all is. It's all up there as we saw all day to day. Now look how much of it there is. And remember the stuff we saw in Texas made there that went south and then joined into this. So that's why we saw mega slime. So again, virtually every day. All right, don't tell me they're not on top of their game. Look at all that, it's incredible. Over here is right, over here is wrong. Actually, a couple hours later, I get back here. I was driving directly away at fairly high speed, and this stuff is really slow moving, but it, it's here now. And tons of it. All right, let's see, notice this too, those who've, uh, you know, been watching and seeing and, and noting this stuff. Remember, this is what it looked like after they do, you know, a hundred, uh, 150 chemtrails, and it would turn into this, you know, this weird, weird stuff but they're they're not doing chemtrails today i mean we saw a wisp of one or two but that's nothing this stuff has clearly come from much much further away and as i showed you uh as we were driving in an open expanse that it's it's the whole region so that once again underscores their new means of making it which of course is added to and and has itself added to the existent material that has been sprayed for a decade so round and round it goes and this is this this is what it is now mega slime generation what IntelliCast says isn't even there at all yeah they're, de they're definitely starting it now <laughs> yeah about that it's disgusting
All right, that gives a pretty good uh, uh, image of what's going on around us uh, right now, and there's tons more <clears throat> behind coming up. But you uh, know, this is Jet Cirrus. This is what they're talking about. <laughs> this is the now you know nearly omnipresent powder, aluminum oxide, or something like that. And one more note, the frozen and loose sight effect is unbelievably strong today. I, I, I've been, I'm staring at the clouds and I can't figure out which way they're going. We do have time lapse, so I'll see in a minute, but looking, I can't tell. It's just like dead, almost virtually dead frozen. super heavy duty. It's like, okay, humidity levels are high enough to allow that to happen, and then boom. <laughs> Come on. It doesn't get any more artificial than that. And why are they now? Where were they earlier? Yeah, that's how they do it now. 